dogs are evil. Oh. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Cartoon Countdown. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 unsettling cartoon moments on TV. Number 10. Alone. SpongeBob SquarePants. Upon discovering a time machine, Squidward travels to the future, the past, and whatever this place is. At first, Squidward is actually relieved to be in this blank world of nothingness, as he can finally have some peace and quiet. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's slowly overcome with isolation and paranoia, however, as a series of echoing voices repeatedly whisper the word, alone. This scene is almost surreal enough to be in a Stanley Kubrick or David Lynch movie. Watching it, you truly feel like the last person on Earth, with only the voices in your head left to keep you company. Number 9. Batman's Nightmare Batman the Animated Series Although he was only a child at the time, Bruce Wayne has always felt responsible for not being able to prevent his parents' murder. Bruce views their deaths as his greatest failure. That is, until he watches his buddy Harvey turn into a two-faced monster. Now look at me! Bruce's guilt and grief builds up to this unnerving nightmare where the worst moments of his life are all revisited. There's nothing Batman can do. Why couldn't you save us, son? <gasps> As if that's not emotionally scarring enough, Bruce must also confront the disappointed looks on his parents' faces as they ask why he couldn't save them. Number 8. Honey Sugarman's Lobotomy – Bojack Horseman If you want to know why Bojack Horseman is such a lost soul, look no further than his family history. As horrible as Bojack's childhood was, his mother's upbringing was even worse. Distraught over her son's death, Honey Sugarman gets drunk and puts her daughter Beatrice in harm's way. Beatrice's father only sees one way to deal with his wife's womanly emotions – a lobotomy. She's a brand new woman now and she'd like to meet you very much. It's nothing short of heartbreaking, as Beatrice meets the empty shell that was once her lively mother, who tells her young daughter to never love anybody as much as she loved her son. Number 7. Frozen Arnold – The Magic School Bus We know what you're thinking. How could an educational show like The Magic School Bus have anything remotely unsettling in it? Well, we're not sure if the creators intended to make our hearts stop, but they succeeded with flying colors here. It's a fairly straightforward trip to the solar system for Miss Frizzle's class, until Worry Ward Arnold almost kills himself. We're not kidding. Arnold removes his helmet and his entire head is frozen solid, burning a jaw-dropping image into our fragile young minds. Oh, but don't worry kids, Arnold's ailments are nothing that a box of tissues can't cure. Number 6. Stewie lets his psychologist die – Family Guy Stewie may be an evil, diabolical baby but he's also revealed signs of vulnerability over the years. The youngest Griffin lets down his defenses during a psych evaluation, even revealing that his British accent is fake. When his psychologist suffers a heart attack, Stewie could easily hand him his medication, but instead cruelly condemns him to death so nobody else will know his secret. Please, there's not much time. While we've seen Stewie kill people in the past, Dr. Pritchfield is perhaps the first victim who takes a toll on his conscience. The conflicted expression on Stewie's face as he tries to sleep that night says it all. Number 5. Him, the Powerpuff Girls Given its comical, colorful exterior, you wouldn't expect the Powerpuff Girls to have a legitimately intimidating antagonist. While he's every bit as flamboyant as the other villains on the show, him is the only one who truly strikes dread into the viewer. We're given goosebumps from the second him appears on screen for the first time, with the camera slowly zooming in on his ghastly smile. How could you let the Powerpuff Girls humiliate you? While Him's appearance alone is enough to make us uncomfortable, this King of Darkness ups the creep factor whenever he opens his mouth. I think you should fight more often. <laughs> Him's presence is only made more unsettling since we don't entirely know what he is, although he is clearly the closest thing this world has to the devil. Number 4. The Puppet Master – Avatar The Last Airbender this episode is guaranteed to have your skin crawling. Upon befriending a seemingly kindly warbender named Hama, Katara learns that her new mentor has been exacting revenge against the Fire Nation through an inhumane technique known as bloodbending. Whenever Hama physically manipulates another human being, you can practically feel their insides being twisted around. It is straight up distressing. In addition to getting under Katara's skin, Hama manages to get inside her head as she forces her young protege to practice bloodbending in order to save her friends. Number 3. You Are Alone, Child – Adventure Time 
The Lich's hellish design is perfectly complemented by Ron Perlman's sinister voiceover performance, making for the most formidable foe ever to face Finn the Human. You are alone, child. The undead villain nearly succeeds in offing our heroes in this episode, engulfing them in darkness. We will sail until every light has been extinguished. As the Lich makes his way towards the helpless Finn, he delivers a spine-tingling monologue about his desire to eradicate the universe of all life. Each word that comes out of the Lich's mouth feels like a snake slithering into one's ears. It's as if we're encountering death incarnate. Of course, since the Lich represents death, Finn finds that the only way to defeat him is with life. Number 2. The Boogeyman, The Real Ghostbusters Ghostbusters has always been a macabre franchise, but this scene from the animated series is arguably more disturbing than anything in the live-action movies. The show didn't disappoint with its portrayal of the Boogeyman, who looks like the Joker with an enlarged head and sharper teeth. It's him. Anybody who grew up during this era will never forget the moment where the Boogeyman emerges from a closet and stares Egon in the eyes. I remember you. Egon? Egon recognizes this supernatural creature from his childhood. And, even more unsettling, the Boogeyman remembers Egon as well. Number 1. Rick and Morty Die Rick and Morty How many shows can you think of where the world ends by episode 6? Fortunately for Rick and Morty, they're able to escape from the Cronenberg-infested world and resume life in an alternate reality where their counterparts recently died. Oh my god, Rick! Is that us? For Rick, digging a grave for his alternate self is another day at the office. Morty, however, is completely mortified, as he not only looks over his mangled corpse, but also comes to terms with the fact that he's abandoned almost everyone he loves and traded them in for an identical set. While things soon go back to normal, or at least normal by this show's standards, the experience will haunt Morty until he dies.